So today we're talking about the greatest wealth transfer in history. This has never happened before and it's not really what you think. So um, how can we be a part of that? So we'll talk about this in this video. So stay tuned. The greatest wealth transfer is happening. Now, how can we benefit from this? This will be a $84 trillion opportunity. We too can benefit from this if positioning ourselves properly. So, so the first step is very important. It's called follow the money. If you do not know where the money is coming from, you will not be able to take action. Baby boomers have been around longer than millennials or Gen Cs. They have accumulated a lot of wealth in the process. Today's generations have a much harder time to generate wealth. Baby boomers own most of the businesses, real estate and stocks. In the coming years, 45 million households will transfer $84 trillion to millennials and Gen Cs. It's not the people receiving the money that should be exciting. It is those that think like an entrepreneur and investor. Whenever there is a huge transfer of money, there is a big opportunity for smart people. Most people simply spend their money. We need to position ourselves to reap the reward. Baby boomers that will eventually pass away and then children and grandchildren will inherit uh, mass amounts of wealth. This will make millennials the wealthiest generation ever. Certain sectors are going to explode, especially in the technology and artificial intelligence space, as more money is flowing into these industries. So now the second step is managing the money. Three out of five professional football players and 60% of former NBA players declare bankruptcy after retiring. It is quite shocking considering the amount of money they have received during their active career. Imagine if the money would have been invested correctly the amount of money that would accumulate now. Yes, there are some that are smart and make themselves billionaires by investing into businesses and having financial literacy. However, a staggering 70% of families that inherited their wealth lose it by the second generation and 90% lose it by the third generation. Have you ever wondered why these super rich people will not leave their wealth to their children? No, now we know. These people give it to charities. Well. When it comes to making money, the first $100,000 will be the hardest. Around 68% of those with a net worth of $30 million or more made it themselves. Another study by Fidelity found that 88% of all millionaires are self-made. Next step is to grow your money. It's not how much you make, it is how much money you invest. Of course, the more you make, the more you can invest. Wealth building comes down to strategy and psychology. With the right investment strategy, you will be able to gain financial freedom. You will be able to beat the odds and never have to work again. But first you need an emergency fund. This is simply to cover unexpected expenses. Starting your investment without emergency fund may force you to sell your investment to cover expenses. The perfect emergency fund is three to six months of your living expenses. Next is to pay off all your high interest debt. Think of the interest that has to be paid to banks as more investment funds. Open a tax advantage account. Sounds boring, right? It allows you to pay lesser amounts to the government in a form of taxes. You can use a traditional IRA to get the tax write-offs now or can use a Roth IRA and withdraw the money later and not having to pay taxes then. The latter might be a better option. To withdraw the money, you will have to be 59 and a half years old and you can decide what to invest. If you prefer more safety, you can invest into index funds and bonds. If you're younger and don't mind the risk, you can invest into stocks. Index funds like the S&P 500 have an average return of 10% per year. And crypto might not have the best reputation right now, but you could consider it. A more conservative approach to crypto with a legal exchange only. Many crypto investors stick to Bitcoin and Ethereum and invest no more than 5% of their portfolio. Buy and think 
long term when it comes to investing. Yes, they're successful traders, but most are not. A matter of fact, I believe it is more than 90% that are actually failing. To accelerate your investment, you need a side hustle. Tech-based is best, but anything that increases your income and money to invest will do. According to Forbes, America's baby boomers, along with surviving members of all the generations, are about to fuel the greatest wealth transfer of all time in the US today. So in this article by Forbes, according to the Federal Reserve boomers control a stunning $75 trillion and their elders another $18 trillion of the nation's $141 trillion in total household wealth. While many middle class retirees will spend their savings, the richest 1% hold 31% of net assets. Meaning that most 1%ers will leave plenty to their children, grandchildren and favorite causes. Out of 88 million living Americans born before 1965, Forbes has identified 572 US billionaires. We estimate they have a collective net worth of $3.9 trillion to pass on and many aren't planning to pay anything in the state tax. Former Goldman Sachs President Gary Cohn famously said only morons pay estate tax. The estate tax used to be a real revenue raiser, but a quarter century of political, regulatory and court decisions have limited how much revenue the tax can bring in. Congress raised the amount that a married couple can pass on to their heirs without owning estate or gift taxes from $1.35 million dollars in 2000 to almost $26 million this year. The full $26 million can even go to, into a generation skipping or dynasty trust, meaning it can grow in value for grandchildren and later generations without any further gift or estate tax. In 2020, down from 2.18%, in 2000, under the current law, the estate tax exemption will fall about half in 2026 when the temporary Trump tax cut from 2017 expires. But the IRS has agreed that if that happens, it won't attempt a clawback and tax money already transferred during life using the larger exemptions. One way the rich have long been applauding for avoiding taxes is through philanthropy. And while the individual is fearful of economic downturns, the wealthy will use this to build more wealth and accumulate their assets. And if we want to get to the point where we can financially be independent, all we need to do is follow their lead. Now the question is, how are you planning to prepare for the future? So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.